Hey guys, let for Life here, Boomer once again. Uh, I'm bringing you guys by far my favorite deck of all time, and what I promise you guys, I'd be live. Medolce's. Medolce's. Killing people with cuteness since 2013. If I'm Thank you for that. Anyways, <laughs> I've been playing this deck since uh, Lord of Tachyon, when Hook came out. It was absolutely fantastic. One of my buddies got me into the deck, and ever since I've, I've been playing it, um, I would stop many times and, go, and build other different decks and go to those, but I'd always come back to those. This deck is by far the most fun I've ever had in the game. Plus, can, plus it's probably your best rogue deck to go up against any meta. I promise, this, this deck is extremely good if you know how to build it and if you know how to play it. So let's get started. <clears throat> Triple Magic, Stratus of the deck, self-explanatory. What's up, buddy? Triple Angeli. The... Blown fire on the deck. Again, self-explanatory. You should not be playing less than three of either of those. Hoop cake, I've seen people play two. I personally like three. I like I like to draw into him. I think he's a really good card. He's a tour guide. Don't don't with me feel. Um I did this on uh on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. Uh, do a video on a cap or deck profile, and I'm gonna explain it the same way. You don't need three. The way I say, it, you search so much for this deck that you can almost always guarantee to have this card in hand within the first couple turns, and by that point, you're ready for an OTK or at least a big push towards the OTK. Three, you can use three. I just don't use it anymore. It's just not necessary. Double message gelato. I don't want two is very standard. Three is too much. You do not want to see him. You do not want to draw him at all whatsoever. He, he is the last card you want to draw to in this deck, except for my next card. Putting sis. I used to bash on this card so much. I even bashed on when Angeli came out. I decided to try it out because of three Angeli, and I have not regretted it. I think one Ange one Punning Sus is really good. Be able to get the extra push for game from after you set up your field is just really good. Plus, I can pop an extra card, and if I have literally no monsters in grave, which most of the time I don't, it, it becomes 2300 of the field spell out. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yo, for a. Uh, um, nine middle chase. Double GG Warwolf. This card. Some people play three. Some people play Insufficient. Some people play Spell Striker. This card is fairly consistent for the fact I'm, al I'm always special something. I always special someone with this deck. Uh, which what uh, language is that? <laughs> I believe this would be Spanish. I'm not sure. Could not tell you. But yeah, Warwolf is really good. Two is consistent, three is too much because you can double draw into it and just dead draw into just TG Warwolf and that just really sucks. <laughs> double Maxi. The only hand trap by main deck because Maxi is better than Baylor. And I love drawing cards. Spells. Double Chateau, double tickets, standards. I'm gonna explain this. Don't play three each. You'll, you don't need three each. One, the field spell war is over. Two, you can only control, you can only activate the effective ticket once per turn, and there's literally no other point to have it. Um, the only reason I can see people playing multiple, like three each or something, would be Twin Twister. But even then, I don't think that's too much of an issue. I just don't. I don't like three each because you, there's so many other cards you can draw rather than just multiples of these. If you draw multiples of these, it sucks. Like, to be fair though, if you draw multiples of any of the cards in this deck, it really sucks. Um, plus, again, Field Spells War is over, so you don't really have to worry about anything destroying these other than Twin Twister. And if you do, you can recycle them very easily with Tiramisu as well. So. I'm gonna. Double duality. Um, I go back and forth between this and upstart. You can use either. I use duality because of consistency. Um, I play a little bit more back row than I used to, so I can afford to use duality and afford to hold off on a turn to set up for next turn. Double twin twister. Because I still like getting targets and grave in case I top deck hoop cake. And twin twister is absolutely powerful. So much better than let's see. Then we have the one ofs, book of main rigate key, self explanatory. Traps. One blizza. 
I've seen people play multiple. Uh, my opinion, you don't need multiple Palooza for the fact that if you go, if you use it once and you don't win after that, there's something wrong, or they just really fucked you over majorly. Um, two Palooza, I've never been in any situation where I needed a second Palooza. There's barely a situation where I need one Palooza. I was about to can recycle it. Yeah, which is why I only play one because I can use it for uh, Tiramisu. Tiramisu recycles it. That's literally the only reason I only play one because I don't really have to worry about getting banished or anything. So if I wanted to recycle it, that was a nice restriction. Really good. Crap. I think something. Oh, there it is. Sorry, <laughs> it like flew to the side. Uh, double D press. Can you? Could you side? Honestly, I have room. Um. Just extra back rope or extra protection from uh, while I set up my hand for game. Double Divine Wrath, I'll be dropping one for Solemn Strike. But uh, Divine Wrath's still really good. It's Counter Trap, like the only cards that I'll get around to is Wire Type or Seven Duels. Or Dark Bride. <laughs> Nobody plays Dark Bride. <laughs> Sorry. One of us. Blackhorn. Bottomless. Compulse. Mirror Force. I'm probably gonna drop the D Prisms um, for a Rippling Mirror Force whenever I get a hold of one. Warning. Torrential. And Wiretap. Because negating traps is always fun. Extra deck. Believe it or not, the extra deck was the hardest to build because I had to fit a bunch of cards into a 15 card extra deck. That's really difficult for me because there's so many options I can have for this. <clears throat> Still a tiramisu, I won chocolate a la mode. Um, I never go into more than one of her, and I never go into more than two of tiramisu. Because the idea is, if she, if my first tiramisu somehow gets destroyed, my second one recycles her back in, that's not an issue whatsoever. Plus, if the reason I never go into more than one of hers is because by the time I've already used both of her materials, if that, I just go into her and attack me. Uh, for, for rank 3s, we got Fortune Tune for stall. Same on Zane Mains. Bullet just to sit on. Zane Mains is really good. I like it. I'm really happy that I kept it in here. It saved me a few times. One Invoker, two Love Here. Um, I personally don't like two Invoker anymore for the fact that Angelia is a thing now, and you don't have to focus on the whole Mew Few, uh, Who Cake play. And then like having like a target grade like Max T or something. Um, which is another reason why I play Max T or Revealer, because it's an easy target for who or easy who cake fodder in case I can't use Angelie. But the main idea Mew and Jelly, Tribute and Jelly, Who Cake, Overland Levier, that sort of thing. I I almost never go into Invoker to be honest. Rank Forest, Rhapsody, because I like banishing, I like banishing cards. Cowboy, because I've cowboyed for games several times, you don't even know, it's still really good. Dweller, because Dweller is really good. Castell, same reason. Harline Draco is so fucking hilarious in this deck. I, I can't even begin to tell you how funny it is to sit on this card, attack twice directly for 4k basically, and then just sit on that for a few turns while I can't be attacked. It's so good. Honor. Dark Rebellion XE's Dragon, in, in case I need an extra push. Side deck. Double Veiler, because I don't main deck it, and Veiler's really good. Shot, third Chateau, in case I run into a bunch of back row hate. Triple MST, because I'm siding it for game two and three, because worst, deck's worst enemy is hand traps and back row. Don't iron wall because, again, banishing kind of sucks too. Don't you want to banish with hoop gates effects? <laughs> Aside from that, I mean, I'm not too, too worried about it. Mm. It's very situational, I guess. Triple line imprisoning. Um, I should change the side deck up, but yeah, triple line imprisoning. I, I dropped Shadow Imprisoning. I don't Most, if not all, dark decks I go up against, I have absolutely no problem with. Light imprisoning basically shits on practically anything with a problem. Basically, Cosmo is kind of annoying. Um, so Teller Knights, Constellers. Don't mind Crush because Mind Crush hits practically every deck. A lot, most every deck adds. And Double Decree. Because by the time I'm signing for Game Tour 3, I'm signing out half my traps, I'm not really too worried about that, and Decree just kind of kills any and all back row if I needed to. That's the deck. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment and rate what you thought of this back. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, peace out.